willingly um, followed through. We have uh, presented ourselves, we are defending ourselves. I didn't start defending myself yesterday. Even when I was in the Ministry of uh, Finance and the Treasury, I was still on this case and I was still doing my business at the Treasury. And we will continue to follow that case until we get to its logical conclusion. Not just for the sake of following due process and following the rule of law. But even if today I was told that case is stopped, I would be the first to say I don't want it to be stopped. I want this case to continue until my good name is clear. Thank you. That is more important to me than everything else that they want to write about in the media. I know the truth, and I want that truth to come out. And that we will follow through to its logical conclusion. Number two is the will of the people. It has been made very clear by all and sundry, especially by the court itself, and even the prosecutor has stated that nothing prevents myself and William Ruto from running for election or for elective office. Because, as it says, you are innocent until proven otherwise. And I think that law holds for all. So therefore, we will run if the people of Kenya so decide to give us their vote. First and foremost, it means people of Kenya are convinced that we have the capacity to do the job. Secondly, it will also mean that it is also equally a vote of lack of confidence in that particular court itself. Because how can the Kenyan people themselves be the ones to say we are electing those people if indeed we committed the kind of crimes that these people see that we did. Number three, our cases are separate. at the same time. Ruto attends his case as a separate case, my case is a separate case. The president of this country, which is not a banana republic as I always state, is constantly in and out of this nation. One week, two week, three week. This government doesn't fall. And when the president is out, Vice President is also here, or the Deputy President is here, because our cases, I repeat, are separate. They are separate. And Kenya is a country that has proper structures, my friend, proper structures of governance, of administration. The business of this nation will continue. The business of this nation will continue. I have repeatedly stated that this is not a my government, this is a we government. There are people here, even if things became well from bad to worse, this country has the right structures, has the right institutions to ensure that Kenya continues. There are those who also consistently say that, oh, there will be sanctions of this nature, sanctions of that nature. I ask them, first and foremost, that means you don't even comprehend this particular case. Sanctions are enforced by the Security Council. This case was never referred to the ICC by the Security Council. This case was is a self referral This is my new Right? Are, are we on the same page? Yeah. So the issue of sanctions does not apply. And if indeed, there are specific nations that will say that yes, we will impose sanctions on a nation to nation. I want to ask them a very simple question. 20 years ago, we were imposing sanctions on Kenya because we were saying we are not believers in democracy, that we want democracy, we want multi party politics, we want reform. Now today you are telling us you are going to impose sanctions on a nation because they have exercised their democratic right. Then you are not a true friend of Kenya, you tell us what your agenda is. And Kenya has no right. And 
difference with this you know, because it is the will of the people. This is not a dictatorship. This is not a country run by a military junta. This is a country where the people of Kenya are making informed, by the way, and I mark that, informed decisions. This is not a country of ignorant people. People of Kenya know what's going on. There's been no bigger case that has been highlighted than this ICC case. Isn't it? It's in the media every day. Our friends here. <laughs> daily. Trying to make it a campaign, a campaign issue. So, it's not that Kenyans are ignorant of, of what we are facing. And if they still decide to elect us, by God, to Nairobi and Akazi, I'm